Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. In today's video, it's time to change the lock sound of my Tesla. What I have decided to choose? Well, I have seen a video of a guy who has put the Darth Vader breathing as his lock sound. And in my opinion, this is just amazing because it gives the car like this feeling like it's alive. And it's also kind of scary in a certain like environment, for example, in the video. He has put the car in a parking garage. Of course, I don't know how loud it's going to be. And before we do anything, the question of course is, how do you even change your lock sound? Well, there are a few options. I will show that to you in the car right now. Okay, so how do you change your lock sound in the Tesla? I can show you right now where you open up your menu and you go to the toy box and then you go to boom box. And there you have lock sound. You click it and then you can select whatever you want to have. You have like a lot of different options. For example, you have random. So it just randomly plays one of the other ones, which is kind of funny because you never know what's going to happen. So if you want to have like a little bit of a laugh every time you leave your car, maybe put it to random. And then we have this option called USB, which is actually the opportunity where you can put your own sound file on the car to play it every time you're leaving the car. You can also change your horn sound to a different one, but I thought you can also put a USB sound on here, but apparently you cannot. That is interesting, I didn't know that. To make the car play anything when you have selected USB, of course you have to take your USB stick out, put it to your computer, you need to download a certain sound file that you then convert to a WAV file. And if that is on there, you name the file lock chime and then you put it back in your car and it should work. We will try that out right now. But before we do that, there's actually a website called lockchime.com where you already have a lot of different sounds that you can download. They are called Lockchime, they have the WAV format. So in the end, you just have to put them on your stick and it should work. It sounds really easy, so let's try it out. Okay, so I'm now sitting in the car. I have my laptop actually with me because I can just do it in here. It's easier than grabbing the USB stick, going upstairs again, going downstairs and then maybe nothing is working. So that's why I'm doing it right here. So let's get the USB stick. Therefore, we have to open the glove box. Uh, I always need to figure out where that is because I don't use the glove box too often. And also, that is actually one of the things where I yeah, would say I could complain. Like, first of all, there is not a lot of space in there. Probably more like for documents that you can put in there, but not for bigger things. And the USB stick is really, really far in there. So I actually don't even know if I can grab it from the driver's position. When I was picking up the car and I had this error regarding the USB stick, I was of course unplugging the USB stick and I really had problems getting the USB stick back in there. So yeah, but I definitely have to switch seat because this one doesn't work. Okay, I have now put my lock chime, my Darth Vader breathing sound in the Tesla drive. So that is the USB stick that you have in the car. You also have your dash cam footage right here. You always have a recent clips one that I also didn't know. So it's like the last recording so you can see me walking around the car. And then of course the ones that I saved. Okay, the lock time is now on here. Let's disconnect it and see if it works. And of course the USB stick is one of the accessories that the Tesla also comes with. I totally forgot talking about this in the accessories video. Okay, but now let's try to get it in here. And it is really, really dark. So you cannot really see anything. I actually don't even see it right now at all. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. So that is definitely something I don't really like too much. Of course, you can also use your own USB stick or even like a bigger drive to connect it. But I think I got it now. Yes, I got it. Perfect. So close that. When you already select USB, then your sound is being played. It is working in the car. So that is already good. So you really just put the lock chime WAV file in the first yeah, directory in the USB stick. But now let's see what it sounds like going away from the car and locking the car. Oh, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Don't drop my phone. That is necessary now to lock the car. Let's see. Oh, 
holy moly is that loud i didn't expect it to be that loud but <laughs> okay i don't know if i like it like this i'm shorter to just have it one brief i don't know i don't want to annoy people too much and i don't know how much effect you actually have on the battery every time the car locks and it has to play the sound of course it is not a lot i don't even think like 0.01 percent of the battery but still in the long run of course it makes a huge difference having like a short horn sound compared to a 10 seconds file <laughs> i didn't expect it to work so easily <laughs> holy moly let's see it one more time a bit further away Okay, that is hilarious. I love it. I love it. I think I will keep that for now. It's good that it is not running two times. <laughs> it is great. It is really great. Okay, and with that said, well, now you guys know how to change the lock sound of your car. I will keep the Duff Vader breathing for the next weeks, months. Maybe I will change it up in the future, but you have endless opportunities and I really, really like that. <laughs> have a wonderful day, guys. See you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.